Matthew 24, 14 says, Jesus says, in Matthew 24, 14, Jesus says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited world, the Archimene, as a witness, as a testimony, as a witness, and then the end shall come. So it's very important for us to understand what are the elements of the gospel. And it's also very helpful for us to understand that the gospel is preached throughout the Torah, throughout the Tanakh. It's preached in the Torah, it's preached in the uh, prophets, it's preached in the writings. Amen. So I'm going to look at how the gospel is preached. Now, first of all, we remember the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, that he handed down, as of in first Paul's, what were the elements of the gospel. And he said, the elements of the gospel were this. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose after three days according to the scriptures. And he appeared, amen, he appeared to Peter, he appeared to uh, the twelve, he appeared to the five hundred brethren, he appeared to all the apostles, he appeared to Yaakov, his brother James, he appeared to Paul. So these are the five or four elements. He died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He rose from the dead according to the scriptures. And he appeared. And when he appeared, he appeared as Messiah and as Lord. Hallelujah. So, we're going to now look at some of the gospel presentations with a view to understanding where the scriptures declare the gospel ahead of time. But first, let us go to the first gospel proclamation after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, first, if we, if we look at the, the end of Luke, we see that Jesus says this. Uh, then he opened in verse 45 of chapter 24. Then he opened the, their understanding that they might understand the scriptures and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer. He died for our sins according to the scripture. And to rise from the dead. He died for our sins according to the scripture. And he rose. I mean, he was buried. And he rose from the dead and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem now notice Jesus ministry first of all took place in the Galilee he spent most of his time in the Galilee but then when it was time for the Jewish feast in accordance with the Torah he per per pilgrimaged or walked to Jerusalem but after now he rose from the dead, the message of the gospel begins at Jerusalem. Until so 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 and that repentance and remission of sins. Repentance, that is when a man in the earth turns his life over to God. He believes in his heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, and he confesses the Lord Jesus. He will have turns back to Yahuwah. Repentance towards God. Repentance in light of what God has proclaimed is required. And you say, I'm sorry, I did not do that. I'm turning now to go in the way God requires. And remission of sins. When that repentance place takes place, then the sins are remitted. Now, when a cancer is in remission, a man can have a cancer. And suddenly, it will be in remission. That means it suddenly disappears. Amen. And so remission of sins means the removal of sins. And how are they removed? By God. Well, through the blood of Jesus Christ. So Jesus says, this is my blood for the remission or the forgiveness of the sins of the many in the new covenant. Amen. So repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. In other words, we're not doing it in our own name. When we preach the gospel, it is not our job being we're doing. It is his job in the authority of Jesus Christ. We preach the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all nations as a witness. 
Amen. In all the inhabited world, among all nations, as a witness. In other words, whether it's an Islamic nation in and Mecca, Medina, Saudi Arabia, or whatever, there will be a community of gospel preachers. Why? Because the good news of the kingdom will be preached in every nation as a witness. Repentance and forgiveness, remission of sins, should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem and ye are witnesses of these things and behold I send the promise of the, my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high they're going to be endued with power from on high for what in order to be witnesses of these things now Jesus is very clear when he speaks there were two witnesses the church, Peter and the disciples, and the Holy Spirit was also a witness. The church, they were witnesses of everything which happened to Jesus. Let us go to Acts chapter 1 to continue this. Look at the essential elements of the gospel which will help us in doing our job, which is actually his job. Oh, Acts chapter 1. And we go to the words of Jesus, starting at verse uh, 3. We we'll start at verse 3. And now we'll start at verse 1. The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Now that was the book of Acts, and that ended where we just read just now. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he threw the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. So we have his passion, which was his, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15. He was buried, and he showed himself alive. That is, he rose from the dead according to the scriptures on the third day. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. In other words, he showed himself alive to the disciples in a way which they could not be misled. Being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Amen. Being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and that was uh, verse let's see that was verse 3 to whom also he presented himself living after his suffering by many infallible proofs being seen by them through 40 days and speaking the things concerning the kingdom of God now, Jesus revealed himself to the disciples 40 days. You remember that when Jesus was born, 40 days later he went up to the temple to fulfill the message of the Torah, or the command of the Torah, for the cleansing of the mother, etc., after the birth of a child. In other words, in order to fulfill the Torah, he was in the temple after 40 days. But then also you see that when he was back, baptized by in water by the uh, John the prophet and the spirit came from heaven in the form of a dove upon him and John saw the seal and said wow this is the one sealed and, 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 and that seal was the dove the Holy Spirit on him he then went 40 days in the wilderness amen and at the end of the 40 days he came out endued with power and began to work mighty miracles that was after he went through three tests in that 40 day period so again it was a period of training and now we have another period of 40 days only this time it's 40 days after his resurrection and in that 40 day period it says um, to whom also he presented himself living after his suffering and by many infallible proofs being seen by them through 40 
days and speaking things of the king concerning the kingdom of God. In that 40 days, Jesus was revealing the things of the kingdom of God. Now remember this, this, Matthew 24, 14, this gospel, this good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the earth among all nations as a testimony, as a witness, then the end will come amen so he spent 40 days revealing notice that he was revealing the kingdom of God to the disciples we'll continue this in a moment he was revealing that to them he was they were being taken into a new level of revelation whereby he explained to them the mysteries of the kingdom of God now notice that when Moses went to the mountain, Yahuwah revealed to him what he wanted him to know. We'll continue in a moment. 